This is just a short video of some of the functions of the Volker which isn't immediately obvious from the front panel. I don't normally use the Volker as much, in fact I have a bit of a love-hate thing going on with them. So when I played around recently trying to sequence them with the Keystep Pro, uh, I met a few issues. Because I bought these second hand, none of them had the manuals included. One or two didn't even have boxes, which is why I managed to pick them up for around 50 quid. The first thing I wanted to do is a factory reset to restore, to restore default, which is done by holding hang on, holding memory and function and powering up. Record accepts the restore or you can cancel by hitting play. Record is always a kind of go and play is always a kind of stop when it comes to changing any parameters across any of the Volkers. Um, so we'll accept that. And there it runs through its sequence as it kind of reloads its previous data. This deletes any data and patterns stored by previous users. Next, I needed to set them to a different MIDI channel, as by default they're all set to channel 1. So, again, this is done by holding memory, just memory on its own, while powering up. That gives us the options down here to change to any one of 16 channels. As you can see, I have it on 2, that's the one I was using on track 2 from the uh, Arturia Keystep Pro. Again, accept that. Hit the record, erase. Cancel it by going back through play and then hit the step button. The next thing I've stumped on though is why the keys, and this applies to all the Volkers, um, as does any of the parameter change options, wasn't responding to note data, it was, it was only responding to transport information, playing, stopping and tempo syncing. Checked online, didn't have the manuals available, looked on YouTube because that's kind of my default go-to and couldn't find a video on this, which is why I'm making this one. And it wasn't until I posted a post regarding this on Facebook that Oscillator Sync replied to me and said, check the IRX short message data is on it or off, um, which I knew nothing about, having not had access to the manual. Checked it online since though, and it's, it's kind of there now. But this can be set, and this, this is something that really really wasn't obvious and it left me scratching my head for a good couple of hours and just wasted time um, if the rx message short message is turned on or off um, if it's off the volker will only responds to transport data and tempo syncing but not to note data if you want to use the volker with external sequences or midi keyboards then it needs to be turned on do this by entering the global parameters which is holding down function powering up Key 7 turns RX messages on or off. That's it off, that's it on. Whilst we're in here, um, number 6 next to it changes the clock source. With it off, it runs on internal only, regardless of whether or not it has MIDI connected. With it on, that's auto automatic mode, so it's, it's auto. It'll respond to whatever signals it receives, and if no signal is being received, then, then it defaults back to its internal clock. I'll post a full list of the parameters, the global parameters, here. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Be sure to check out the rest of my channel for the useful handy tips, if this has been useful at all. Ta! Many thanks.